Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV. Today we're gonna talk about tire vibration. I think everybody's had that where they leave the shop or they just suddenly get a vibration where the whole damn truck is shaking, can hardly hold on your chip and a tooth on your way to the grocery store. We got some ideas to help you fix that out and not all of them are gonna cost you a bunch of money. One of the things we hear a lot is I just put my new wheels and tires on and I've got a vibration or I've had these tire wheels and tires for a year. It's shook ever since I got it. Um, different reasons, different responses as far as either thinking it's not balanced or there's something wrong with the wheels, something wrong with the tires. And there's actually some really easy solutions to get rid of that vibration. So one of the top ones is a lot of these wheels that are coming today are gonna be dual drilled. So you can see that this one's got two six bolt patterns. This is for both the Chevy 1500 and the uh, Ford F-150. What that means is this is what they call the hub bore. That's what's gonna actually go over the hub on the truck. This needs to be big enough to fit over the Ford and the Chevy. So a lot of times it's a unique size and it's oversized. This is what we call a hub centric ring or a hub ring. This installs to the back of the wheel. And what that's gonna do now, when I go to put this wheel on, it's gonna center it on that vehicle's hub so that when you go and tighten and torque everything down in the typical star fashion, it's gonna make sure that it's centered and you're putting this on nice and straight and even. It also fills this gap. Some people don't believe that it adds any structural, but I can't believe that having a huge air gap around there versus having this hard plastic piece inside of there doesn't make a difference as far as distributing the weight of the vehicle on the wheel as well. So we believe in these. Um, some wheels, some manufacturers are sending them along. Sometimes we do need to order them after the fact. I think they're only like $25, $29 for a set of four of them. So they're inexpensive as far as trying to figure out this is always the first step. So if you, if you put your wheels and tires on or if you're getting wheels and tires and you go to put them on and you've got that big air gap, I would strongly recommend going after some hub centric rings. That's a good first step to get rid of that vibration. Another option is with more and more guys running spacers, we touched on this in our spacer video, or, uh, adapter spacer video, but basically these come with the hub centric ring on them. So we can make these custom to have any um, hub bore as far as this side for the truck and then the wheel bore size can be different. So we can thicken that, basically building that ring right into this. The other option is you can just stack it up and add the rings and then put it on the wheel and tire. So you're still getting the same thing where everything's lining up and it's spreading out that weight. The other thing that you can go with, um, so that kind of fills that gap. Here's a funny one and I fell for this a couple times many, many years ago. If you park a vehicle on a day like today, I think it's 30 below zero up here in Wisconsin. If I park this for two days and then I jump in it and drive it, it creates a flat spot on the cold concrete. And every time that flat spot comes around, it's gonna feel like the entire truck is shaking. That's not a problem. As soon as this warms up, that flat spot's gonna go away and everything's gonna get moving again. The lower profile the tires are, the more you're gonna feel it, especially on some of the cars and some of the low profile sport tires. The other thing is, if I get snow packed in here, if I get a big clump of ice right there, that ice can be enough to throw off the balance of this wheel. So when that thing starts going down the road until that ice comes flinging off at the guy next to his car, it's gonna go ahead and cause a shake. Another thing, don't panic, that's what it does. A lot of guys will go mud running and think they broke something. Really, they pack some mud behind there. So what you really wanna do is either peel them off and clean off behind there because you're literally, you've got mud, ice, or snow packed in there and that's starting to throw off the balance of the wheel and tire. It doesn't take much to cause that vibration. Um, some of the tools that they have out there to try to get a better balance would be like, you'll hear about road force. What that's doing is it's a machine that actually puts a roller against the tire as it spins and it's putting the pressure of a vehicle, simulating a vehicle on there, and then they can find out how to balance it. The trouble is when you go get up to a 35, 35 plus mud tire, there's such big honking tires and they have so much weight and so much moving mass that the road force just isn't built for, built for that. 
So you, you may not ever be able to get a better balance and it's pretty expensive to have done. So that's why anything bigger, one of the things we're starting to see more and more of them, we're actually gonna add them to the website as an option, is a bead bag balancing. So they literally take a pouch of beads, they throw it inside when they're, we're mounting and balancing, and then as soon as you start driving, those beads let loose. And what they do is they find the low spot in the tire when it's rotating, so it's using that centrifugal force to figure out where the unbalanced part is, and then it balances out as you drive. Some of the downfalls I've heard is you can actually feel the weight of the beads, or you can hear the beads moving around in there. But when, you, when you're talking about big 37 inch, 40 inch, 44 inch tires, that may be the only thing you can do when you're moving that big of a tire. Um, such a bead balance. The other one, and you know, I've run into this recently, basically you may just have a wheel or tire that isn't happy with the position it's in on the vehicle. You can literally move the wheels and tires around on the vehicle and improve or reduce or eliminate vibration. And then when you go for your next rotation, it may have had enough wear or enough settle in time where it will actually stop vibrating over time. So I think those are some good things to try. Again, the hub rings, the wheel adapters or spacers with the built-in hub rings do the same thing as a hub ring. Don't forget about flat spots, mud, ice, all the stuff that could be jammed in there that's just causing it to be off balance. Um, just a good cleaning does that. Um, road force isn't always the answer with smaller wheels and tires. It definitely is um, until you get into the big weights. And then the bead balance and being able to just move the wheels and tires around on the vehicle and try to find its happy place. So, you know, that's what we've learned over the last three to five years, um, messing with our own stuff, our personal vehicles, and also here at Custom Offset. So if you have questions, go ahead and post them. We know you're not afraid to share your comments. And make sure you subscribe to us on Custom Offsets TV on YouTube.